Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana, Black Galaxies, and also Black Stars. Then our players, all the latest news coming in on this channel. Today, it is going to be Algeria versus Ghana, Black Galaxies. Yes, we are preparing for the CHAN tournament this particular month. And we have two friendly games to play in this month. And today, the team will play one at the Nelson Mandela Stadium. I have the details for you on this channel. What time are they playing? And um, how are we going to get them out to watch and other latest news on this channel? After that, we will talk about Thomas Tepate. He is also a player that time. Um, according to Aaron Wright, he believes that if he stays fit, Arsenal in the EPL can win the league. And um, we will also talk about one blaster striker, Felix Ohene Afinejan. He is struggling currently at US Cremonens. And um, Yes, we will talk about him a little on this channel. Before we delve into the details, kindly give us a like after that. Make sure you smash on subscribe button. You put on the bell for more updates on this channel. What is actually causing Felix or Hina Fenegian to struggle at the Italian Serie A now? Because he began very well with AS Roma. And, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So let's begin. Today it is going to be Algeria versus Ghana. Yes, this is a friendly game that um, the champ team will be playing or the chant teams will be playing chant 2022 which is going to be played in 2023 this month is actually being played at algeria and today algeria will face ghana at exactly four o'clock gmt and um yes that is it and i'm um, in algeria time it is going to be 5 p.m so nelson mandela stadium or yes today 7th january 2023 it's where the match will actually be played according to the ghana football association they are yet to give us um you know any link or any channel that we can actually watch the match from but i'll be following keenly and will bring you all the latest details from the match as well i'm very hopeful that this time around ghana football association will bring us um you know video highlights of the game because um i've been seeing a lot of um you know videos that they are showing on their channel which showed that this time around they will give us some highlights so just they can stay with me so today 4 p.m at the nelson mandela stadium in ogs it is going to be algeria team versus the ghana team ghana don't forget that um when we had our training sessions in egypt we beat first of all egypt under 20 by some two goals to know we continue to beat el ali by three goals to one yes algeria national team they are also playing very very well they are preparing themselves very well they have also won um, you know, their last game, they drew rather 2-2 with Senegal. So, they are also playing well and they are looking forward that they can get some good results ahead of the tournament. But I don't think the players will actually worry themselves much. Ghana will after today play again on the 10th, which is going to be, uh, I think, Tuesday. Yes, Ghana will play against Mozambique. Then, after that, Ghana will go into the tournament and play our first match on January 15th against madagascar so just stick and stay with me for all the latest we have all the players who are fit kofi koji is fit glass nawako is fit daniel fiebani has joined the team after signing for fc Zurich. i told you he will play the tournament so do not panic all the other players are very fit um david abagna sandan Mohamed sharif all the other guys that you can call their names they are all fit for this tournament if you go to algeria they also have players like guando salezes he's also fit keda chuba is also fit abdullah ayub is fit Luffy yusuf is fit all the other players are also fit for this particular game so that's an update coming in from algeria champ tournaments stick and stay with me for all the latest news on this channel now let's move on and talk before we go to our and let's talk about Thomas Tepate. Thomas Tepate is one player who plays very, very well, especially with the Arsenal team of late. Yes, many criticize him for his performance at the Mundial. That's Qatar 2022 with the Black Stars of Ghana. Ghana is hated from the group stage after losing two matches and winning one out of them. Now, Thomas Tepate at Arsenal this season, he is yet to lose a game. Arsenal has been playing a lot of matches, but Pate in particular is yet to lose a game and everyone is talking about thomas tepate's importance in arsenal now according to i Wright, who is a former player and a legend of the game for arsenal he says that arsenal premier league title chances relies on thomas tepate martin odegaard and saka yes according to him bukayo saka odegaard and party who actually decide if they stay fit which is going to be very tough for them 
he says that he thinks that Arsenal have got a very good chance of winning the league. Don't forget that Manchester City has cut Arsenal's lead to five points after be they beat Chelsea at the Stamford Bridge by one goal to nil in two days ago. Encounter Arsenal actually lost points as they met Newcastle and they drew goalless with them as well. So Thomas Tepate is going to be integral according to Ian Wright for Arsenal to win the league this particular season. Let's only hope and pray that he will stay fit and continue to play for us now. Don't forget the former coach Kwesi Apia has also highlighted on Partey's reason for not playing well in Ghana's team. Um, you know, he actually um, blame it on his position and also the assignments given to him on the pitch. That is what he says that it was the reason why we didn't see the best out of Thomas Tepate in the just ended Qatar 2022 World Cup. Now let's zoom it down to Black Star striker Felix Ohene Afinejan. Yes, according to um, you know, reports coming in, the player isn't really happy at US Cremonese. Don't forget he joined US Cremonese from AS Roma and he is yet to find his you know scoring boots again. Felix Afinejan needs time and space according to chief executive um, of Cremonese, Aredo Brida. Um, that is what he said concerning the player after his last game for the team um, in the Italian Serie A. Italian Serie A side US Cremonese chief executive Aredo Breda has jumped to the defensive of Ghana's young attacker Felix Ohena Fenejan. The Serie A side chief says the Black Stars forward needs time and space to be able to live up to expectation after joining the club from AS Roma. According to him, the team coach has been giving Afenejan some space lately and believes the boy need to play continuously, but they have to demonstrate and justify their inclusions when given the chance. Cremonese chief executive Aredo Breda on Felix Afenejan, he says he needs time and space, but to find them, you also have to deserve them. Our coach has been giving him some space lately. The boys need to play continuously but they have to demonstrate that is what he said via jsn for you on this channel so afinajan are we going to see the best out of him if um things do not go on on well for him yes his club may be relegated to the Serie b because currently they are not doing well at all they are in the relegation zone and anything can happen for his club us cremonese so these are the latest news yes they can stay today Algeria versus Ghana Black Galaxies. What is going to happen? Let's wait and see how things will go. Thomas Tepate's importance for Arsenal and Felix or Hene Afenejan. What is actually happening to him as criminals? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.